Happy Friday. Thank goodness we made another week. This afternoon, for Mrs. Rogers, we're actually going to have something different. We're going to do something different. It's going to be Mrs. Rogers Technology Kitchen Time. So normally we'd have a different presenter, but today you've got me. You're very lucky. And I'm going to give you a cheers to say well done for Friday. With a little bit of red wine, and I may actually have a few other drinks. This is our cat. This is Zebby, so he's come to help. But anyway, such is life. Such is Facebook Live. What we're going to do today, guys, is that we're going to go through sous vide cooking of lamb, which is going to be a little bit exciting. And I'm not sure if anyone knows about sous vide. <laughs> there goes Zebby across the way. Not sure if anyone knows about sous vide, but it's essentially the art of slow cooking, but with technology. You know, we'd normally put everything inside. Uh, a crock pot and you'd slow cook it over six or seven hours or whatever you'd start at the beginning of the day you come back and all your foods ready we're gonna do it with this thing here this is the ANOVA sous vide cooker and it's pretty cool now we're going to be using today the new kiwi roast blend from Mrs. Rogers this is a in a grinder as you can see, a medium grinder, and look for it in the supermarkets is out now. Uh, it is a little bit hard to find because, it, like our other products, it's flying off the shelves. But ask if you can't find it. I'm sure the supermarkets will be able to find it for you. So we're going to use the Kiwi Roast Blend. It's a mixture of New Zealand sea salt with horopito and kawakawa. So it's it's actually really, really kiwi, as opposed to just being a Kiwi Roast Blend. It's actually a, a blend made with kiwi herbs and spices, which is really cool. So like I said, we're going to be cooking a bit of lamb now. So I've, I've got one going at the moment. What I'm going to do is take you through preparing how we actually get it from plate to here. Now don't forget to share and like this video if you think it's interesting. Like I say, normally we'd have um, different things, but today we're actually going to use fire and we're going to use electricity and we're going to use, well, we're just going to drink wine. We're actually not going to use the wine. I'm going to use the wine. Oh, it's really good. And we're going to start with our lamb. So don't forget to share and like. Um, also follow us on Instagram. So Mrs. Rogers NZ at Mrs. Rogers NZ. We're running a fantastic competition at the moment to win a Mrs. Rogers kitchen pack. So get in there. It goes until the 26th of uh, June. And all you need to do is basically like us on Instagram, and then find, or follow us on Instagram rather, and then find your favourite photo and hashtag it with hashtag Mrs. Rogers, and you could win really, really easy. All right, let's get started. So we have lamb cutlets. They're, I think they're about 60 or 70 grams each, I don't know. With lamb cutlets, they can vary in size in the supermarket, um, and it can be quite expensive, but damn, it's good. So there you go, there's our lamb cutlets here. So what we would do to start off with is that we're going to season it with, now, okay, this is like cheat uh, cooking. I can't cook, but, it looks impressive, eh? We got a machine, we got some lamb, we got some spices. Like anyone who walks in is gonna go, damn! He knows what he's doing. I have no idea, no clue, but I understand technology and uh, that makes cooking fun. So we got some lamb cutlets, we smashed them down there. We get out our, our grinder here. So um, as we said before, what you could do is grind into the top like this, really easy, and then sprinkle it over. But I don't wanna do that, we'll cast that away. So I'm literally just gonna smash out the herbs. Now, if anyone's got any questions and they want to ask, um, the person behind the camera will be able to let me know what those questions are. So do fire them at me. Um, yeah, I don't know how much to put on. Just put on what looks nice, I guess, at the end of the day. Now, this is sea salt. So this is salted as well. We've got the sea salt, we've got the harapita, we've got the kawakawa, and we've got a whole bunch of other stuff going on on there. So it's really, really nice. This is me cooking. It's not that hard as it looks. Anyone who's watching out there who uh, is not normally in the kitchen, I'm pretty sure you can go down to the supermarket, get some lamb, get some of our kiwi roast blend, and do something like that. Look, it's already looking glorious, and we haven't even done anything to it. Oh, and I didn't trim the lamb either. I just bought it like it was. So there's, this is like zero prep food. Okay, so I think we've got enough there. Now, what we need to do for sous vide, because sous vide is basically the process of cooking in hot water, at a certain temperature over a certain period of time. Uh, so with the sous vide, we need to chuck it in some plastic bags. Now you could go out and be all fancy pants and go and get a uh, um, like an air sucky outy thing, but 
the bags are really cheap and you don't need to do that. So all we do, pop the lamb in the bag. My kind of cooking. Yeah, shout out if you've got any questions. What are you doing on Friday night? Where are you watching from? Uh, is there anything else you want to see us do on Mrs. Rogers' Facebook Live? Don't forget to follow us on the Instagrams. Um, yeah, there we go. Just wipe on there. So there's our lamb in our bag. Um, so what we need to do next, we've got to get the air out of the bag. There's a couple of different ways of doing this. Uh, the best way, to be honest, is to immerse it in the water. Now just before I do that, I'll just take you through the sous vide thing here. So this is an ANOVA precision cooker. It's an excuse to spend, tech, spend money on technology. Guys, if you say to your, your partner um, that um, you want to be better in the kitchen and it's only going to cost $250 to get a uh, precision cooker, which, hey, at the end of the day, these are the kinds of things that they have in restaurants. Uh, and this, generally speaking, a lot of the food that you eat in restaurants has been sous vide for, for ages. So, so what we're doing is we're going through uh, this cooking, the sous vide cooker. So there you go. So that came in from the States. I'm, I think you, they, you, you can buy them locally somewhere. Just look it up. There are plenty of other ones. This was one of the, the newer ones that came out. Normally it'd actually be a big box, but it's, it's not. It's this thing here. So I've, with the sous vide, with this ANOVA thingamabob, sous vide maker, basically you also get an app. So not only do you get this cool piece of kit, but you get an app. So this is cooking via app. So we're making lamb cutlets using a mobile phone and the technology there. I love, I love cooking like this. This and the barbecue. So anyway, so what we would do within the application is that we look up to see what we want to cook. Now, all different types of food take a different amount of time to cook. This one uh, we've got has been going, we've got one in there at the moment. It's been going for about an hour and a bit and it's very slowly cooking in its juices. So when you cook using the sous vide, you're not grilling, you're not burning, you're not letting the, uh, all the moisture out, you're actually cooking it slowly in its own juices, which makes the meat really, really succulent. So I've looked up earlier on a, uh, in, within the app, like to learn how to cook, you just type in what you wanna cook and it tells you. So this is the one previous, the one that's in there at the moment, has been cooking at 57.2 degrees, for about an hour. Now you, there we go, 57.2 degrees. That's very specific. And you sound really cool when you say, yeah, I've been cooking my um, lamb cutlets, mate, for about uh, 57, it's 57.2 degrees. You may sound like a little bit of a tosser, but you know, such is life. That's how long we've been cooking. We're cooking for about an hour at that rate. Now you can, if you want your food to be even more succulent, uh, you can leave it in longer. It's not like throwing it into an oven where you have to be minute perfect. You could leave it in for longer, you could leave it in for shorter if you wanted it to be a little bit more rare. But we've been going about an hour. Um, actually, we were out about an hour ago, so all I did to get this started and start cooking was that I opened the app, pressed the button, heated up the water, and then started cooking. So I was actually making dinner before I'd even got home. Hey, how about that? Uh, so there we go. So what we want to do, now I've talked a little bit about the sous vide. We've got our lamb in there. We've got our lamb cutlets, and that is using the kiwi roast blend. So I put all the herbs and spices in there. What I'm just going to do here is we're going to use, like I said before, just immersion. You could get a cool vacuum sealer, um, but you actually don't need it, I don't think. So basically just, we want to get all of the air out of the bag so that the food just is sitting nicely in the water and the the hot water because that is at 50 or oh, it's at 57.1 now but don't worry see how there's i don't know if you can see properly on the camera there there we go now if you really want to be tricky you could actually get in there and suck a bit of air out but i think that's good enough under there and then just literally just peg it on there you want to keep obviously the top of the bag out of the water um, i have cooked before and um, let a bit of water in that didn't taste that good it didn't work out at all now if we just have a look down there this essentially here the big metal cylinder for our sous vide cooking that's a heating element and there's also a number of or a fan in there that's just moving the water around gradually and it's keeping that temperature very very specific okay so like I say that we've got one here that's been uh, in there for about an hour so I'm gonna pull that out and you now just so you know, it's going to look horrible. You can do anything. You do eggs, you can do steak, you can do lamb, you can do anything in a sous vide mixer. But when it comes out, it looks 
disgusting. It's really grey and ugh. So there we go. There's our lamp. Doesn't look that good, does it? Doesn't look that good, to be honest. But well, we, we had a question? No, but no? Nikki says nice. Gotta love Kiwi Roast. There you, absolutely, you gotta love the Kiwi Roast, Nikki. Well done. So I am gonna get that out. Now you can see that, just if you come in there, you can see all the juices. So all the juices are still in there. All the lovely lamidness is still in there. And it's uh, looking glorious. Um, and I'm just going to go over here and grab this. Because now we're going to do fire stuff. Right, move that over there. This, um, this could go badly wrong. You know, I'm inside. I'm going to use a uh, butane gas cartridge. Um, I don't think anything can keep on fire. But if it does, it's going to make for a really interesting video. So let's get these out. Um, and obviously they're still warm, they're still hot, they've been sitting there. There we go, it looks, ugh, looks horrible, but also, oh sorry, yes, uh, we've got a Jane question. Jane wants to know how yes. long did you sous vide the lamb for? So these ones have been in there just over an hour. Um, it suggests, depending on the size of the lamb, um, the cutlets, anywhere from half an hour to an hour plus, really. Uh, the, the shorter time that you sous vide means the, obviously the, the rarer the meat will be. Um, but Jamie, if you, if you come in really close here, and if I just give that a little squidgy squidgy, that is just fall apart beautiful. Um, obviously, you know, lamb is better medium rare. Um, anyone who has lamb, which is more than that, it's a silly duffer. Um, but anyway, so you can see, actually see the herbs and spices. They haven't gone anywhere. So the herbs and spices are all the, our kiwi roast blend. It's just absolutely coated that lamb beautifully. All right, fire time. Uh, there we go, I'll wipe it on that. Okay, so we are today, just to recap very quickly, we've been cooked, we've cooked the lamb cutlets for just over, uh, around about an hour at 57.2 degrees uh, centigrade and our sous vide mixer over here. I started the, um, the, the cooking when we were out. Sounds like an easy way to do stuff when you're out and about. Um, and now we're going to make some fire go. So. Obviously, like I said before, it looks horrible when it comes out. Now, what we're going to do is make it look beautiful. Now, you could do this use on a, a, a grill or a griddle or heat up thing. But to be honest, if someone said to me, do you want to do some cooking with a butane torch? Uh, the, the, why, why, would, why would you use anything else? It doesn't make any sense to me. So let's do this. Let's fire it up. We're away. So cooking with fire. So all we want to do is we're just searing the lamb, obviously. We're getting in there. Sorry if that's very noisy in the background. You're probably getting blasted but oh <laughs> it's looking so good and um obviously like we said before we don't have smell of vision in um on facebook but the smell that's coming off that is just flipping glorious now all we're doing here is searing off so we're not actually cooking the lamb anymore the lamb is cooked through obviously based on the sous vide we're just making it look presentable i like my lamb fat <laughs> crispy so i'm just gonna absolutely blast that we'll just flip that sucker over there we go my kind of cooking with a butane torch blitzy blitzy blitz so don't forget like i said before follow us on instagram it's at mrs rogers nz we're running a competition at the moment where you can win a fantastic kitchen prize pack for all sorts of goodies and uh damn this is my dinner by the way how good is this get to go on facebook and then eat what um See what we make. There we go. Oh, look at the wine. So, oh yeah, a glass of wine. Butane torch cooking dinner. Look, I think that's looking pretty good. I'm just going to do that fat a little bit more because. Yum. All right, and you can hear. Oh, listen to that. I know the microphone picking up the sizzle. Yeah, look at that. All right. So we've done that. Is that hot? No, that's not hot. There we go. Let's move that over there. Now, um, quick secret. I suck at plating up things and making it look nice. Um, so I'm just going to try and put things down on the plate. And if it looks nice, that's great. If it doesn't, then such is life. So we're going to move this over here. Oh, and I haven't made any vegetables either. Um, it's just because I haven't made any vegetables. I'm sure you could have something uh, nice with your, with your, uh, what I'm making there, like some sort of horns or something or other. Well, should we do that? Do that? Little question marky things. All right, so there is our lamb sous vide. So that is absolutely glorious. Now we are going to cut into it 
and see how we go, see how nice it is. I'll get my big steak knife. Uh, and it's going. So, like I said, normally um, you would have cooked these on the barbie and wondered how it was going to go and, and all the rest, but because we have sous vide, oh, you can already feel it being just soft and lovely. Okay, there we go. So that's probably, a, it's been in there a little bit longer, but you can see in there, we're still getting, look at this, all of those juices. Yeah, I'm going to try it, just because. Here comes Ze Zebby, um, our cat, has um, decided that he would like some sous -vide. Lamb's too expensive for you, dude. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> but anyway. I, no, okay, no, come here, look at that. That is perfect. Okay, like I say, if you wanted to have a lesser, if you wanted to have it um, obviously a lot more tender, you could leave it in for a lot longer, but that's been in there for an hour and it is still. All right, if you can, you can't taste what I'm tasting, obviously, but that is melt in the mouth glorious. Holy. So I do this a fair amount um, with the sous vide stuff. And if, oh, sorry, I've got a question. Uh, Zevi would like to sample it, thank you. Oh, someone wants Zevi to have some? No, but he's watching <laughs> you. Go, <laughs> Zevi. Alright, here you go, mate. You can have some sous vide down. You're taking the food out of the children's mouths here. Oh. Go on, put it on the... There you go. You gonna eat of that? Doesn't like it. Well, more f I'm not gonna have that bit now, but more for me, I guess, at the end of the day. We know that the cats don't like the sous vide lamb. Such is life. Look, it is, it is, if this is as good a quality that you would get at a restaurant when you have a sous vide lamb. So just to quickly recap while I have some lamb, my mum never said to eat with my mouth full, but I've got to keep talking. Mm, sorry? Amber says that mm -hmm. she's always wanted to try sous vide food. Oh, Amber, it's fan, hello Zeb, it's fantastic. Now, the technology behind this has just come in absolute leaps and bounds. You know, when you go to a restaurant, they're cooking with big... You see them on MasterChef from programs like that where they chuck them in the, the sealable bag and chuck it into the water and let it cook. Um, the, the sous vide stuff that you can buy over the internet is cheap as chips. I think that was about 250 bucks. Um, but we have got so much enjoyment out of it. We actually had a dinner party here and um, you had sous vide. We, we bought a large thing like this and then went down to, to the hardware shop and bought some uh, padding to go around it to keep the heat in and we cooked for it was about 20 odd guests with lamb just using this it was fantastic and did chicken in the same thing it was absolutely glorious so yes yeah, sous vide just give it a crack it's not expensive um, plus like I said before you can actually cook from out of home what, what you can do because um, you've got water in there you can actually put uh, have your meals frozen in the bags have the lamb frozen or the steak frozen or the chicken frozen whatever put it in the water at the beginning of the day in the bag and then the fact that it's frozen will keep the water obviously it will keep within the water and say cold and then when you're ready you just dial into your app open up the app press go it will slowly heat up the water and then start cooking your food and then by the time you've got home you can come home to some absolutely glorious sous vide lamp sous vide lamp so there we go there it is again so just to recap i have some more because it's nice we cooked that oh god it's good so melty um, we cooked that today using our kiwi roast blend which has harapito and the kawakawa and it, it is not just a kiwi roast blend as in the classic kiwi roast it's made with kiwi um, herbs and you can actually really taste the heat from the kawakawa coming through Let's say that ten times fast the kawakawa coming through um, it's absolutely glorious but everyone enjoy your weekend don't forget to follow us on Instagram uh, at Mrs. Rogers, we're doing lots of cool photos. I'm going to do a photo where we're going to take a photo of this and post it up live. Uh, follow us on Facebook as well. Please share this video. Um, you know, if you know people that uh, like technology in the kitchen, but um, or people that can't cook like me, but you know, you get some props when you when you do this. Yes, we got a question. Just in your wrapping up, Jamie yes. wants to know if there's a specific cut of meat you would use for this. Uh, not really, to be honest. You you can in a sous vide, you can cook anything like we did some chicken i did some chicken breasts the other night that were almost the size of ostrich breasts they were huge um so we had them in there i mean i'm talking like breasts that are sort of this big they were massive 
and uh, they're just from our local butcher. They, it was fun, tr true story. Um, they, they they get the larger breasts because the supermarkets don't take the smaller breasts. So you know, the cheapest chips, or oh, cheapest chicken. Um, so anyway, the the uh, with with the cuts of meat, it really doesn't matter. And the app gives you an absolute massive selection of uh, of things like here we got we've got sous vide ribeye steak we've got saffron pears we've got chicken confit we've got salmon so it, to be honest it really doesn't matter uh, you the fact that we're cooking sous vide means that you're cooking slowly so there's a, a massive amount of uh, room for error which is great for me because I don't know how to cook uh, so anyway we will wrap it up there thank you very much for watching get out and find yourself some of our kiwi roast blend uh, and obviously you can use that on anything else. You don't have to get a sous vide cooker to use the kiwi roast blend. You can use it with anything. Have a great weekend. I'm going to finish off this and uh, have a glass of wine. And uh, we will see you next week. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Get in here and have some more of this lamb before the kids get at it. Let's go. Yum. Cheers. See ya.